it's aquatic agriculture, so you are. It, it, it's very. Uh, it's no no different than than agriculture and that type of science. So uh, I think it's important to look at the ecology and natural history of any organism that you're trying to culture. Um, try and work with nature whenever you can. Uh, utilize technology when appropriate, you know, but also try and uh, work smart. Hello, the microalgae or phytoplankton's um, that we that we need on the farm. So we produce these to feed to the baby shellfish. So these are baby oysters, oyster seed. Oh, And a perfectly flat oyster is not very good to eat. There's not really much inside it. Um, good oysters that are marketable in the wild are from steep beaches with high surf. And the surf rolls the oyster up and down the beach, which breaks off the outside edge of the shell. And instead of it being flat, every time the outside edge of the shell breaks off, it gets more and more round with a cup shape to it. Now, because our growing area is very, very calm, we mimic that wave action in this machine right over here, which is called our tumbler. We load the oysters into the top of the machine. The water washes them through it. And as they're moving down, that spinning motion with the holes in the tumbler will actually chip away the outside edge of the shell. Uh, the species of abalone that we use is called a, commonly called a green abalone. Um, in the wild, they would feed off of a variety of algae, um, primarily a the kelp that you see all over our beaches. And that's what they're feeding on. Now when the green abalone feed on the red seaweed, they actually grow with more of a red color to them. So um, as we alter the diet through the years, you can actually see that they get these alternating stripes of color. And we market these as rainbow abalone, basically native abalone eating the native seaweed, and they just, they degrade. In the 48 hours that they're in here, it has a chance to flush out any sand or grit that may be inside their shells, and it also lets them empty their intestines, so the products coming out of this water is very clean and ready for market. Get an order for a local distributor or even a, uh, a out-of-state distributor we sell all over the U.S. We have told, pulled the trays out of the decoration water and we take them over here. And then they load it into the top hopper here, which is the loudest, wettest machine I've ever seen. Uh, these metal bars roll towards each other, and that will actually de-beard the muscle. It grabs the beard and pulls the beard out of the muscle, so you don't have to de-beard it yourself. Um, when our customers call in an order, we pull the product out of water and pack it and put it on the truck the same day. It doesn't spend a week in a warehouse, or it's not flying across the country for two or three days. It, it's literally out of the water, into the bag, and onto a truck heading towards a restaurant within a few hours.